Hello students, good afternoon. Welcome again to the session at my Educators Plus. I am Akashio, English faculty at Educators Plus. So students, those who have attended my 11 a.m. session, so you must be knowing that we have discussed the theory of uh, Caroline age, metaphysical age, but, uh, restoration age and Puritan age. Okay? So we have important writers and their works ke mein discuss kara hai and I've asked you to make the notes and I've also told you that what questions are particular work se kya -kya questions hai in the examination. Okay? So similar uh, previous year's question I have brought with, uh, in front of you in this session as well. So we'll be practicing the question one by one and I'll be telling the right answer with the explanation. Okay, so let's not waste much of the time and let's begin the session. Okay, so the first uh, question in the uh, in your front of you is the temple is a collection of poems by. Ye bhi maine aapko session mein bataya tha. So you must be knowing that the temple, jo poem hai, who has written the work temple many mark bhi kar tha, in the chat box please let me know who has written the work temple okay i am waiting i want everyone to participate main chahti hu zyada se zyada log participate kare so that it actually gives pleasure to me as well because the class is interactive hogi tabhi teacher ko bhi maza aayega and students will also be enjoying it okay so i request you all to please answer in the chat box who has written the collection the temple Yes, jaldi batayen. Yes, who has written the word uh, the temple? Is it uh, Thomas Carew, Robert Herrick, George Herbert, Richard Cratchow? And you know that a temple is a collection of religious poem. And kiska collection hai? Ye mujhe aapko chat box mein batana hai. Who has written the word temple? Okay, so the correct answer to this question is George Herbert. Okay, so I have told metaphysical age ke mein bataya tha, that metaphysical age is an age which was famous for using paradoxes, conceits, wit and different intellectualism. Okay, so this age, thi, uh, here the certain writers evolved who actually make the metaphysical age famous and one of the writer was George Herbert. Okay, and T.S. Eliot in his essays, the metaphysical poet has praised the intellectualism and the mysticism of these poets, um, the, the John Dunn, uh, George Herbert, Robert Herrick, Thomas Carew. So these were some of the metaphysical poets. But Johnson has denounced, the, denounced this uh, poet and he didn't like the intellectual fervor to what these uh, you know, poets were attached. Okay, so uh, this temple, as I told you, is a collection of religious poem by George Herbert, and this question after two, three times net me pucha ja chuka hai. Okay, so you should remember that this is a poem by George Herbert, and it is divided into three parts. ये भी मैंने आपको लेक्चर में बताया था कि कितने पार्ट्स में डिवाइडेड है इट इज डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री पार्ट्स सो इसको आपको डीपली इज इन डेप्थ आप में नहीं जाना है यू जस्ट हैव टू रिमेंबर द चर्च पोर्च इज द लॉन्गेस्ट poem of this particular collection okay so the church portrait is the longest uh, poem that is of this particular collection and it is divided into three parts and last one kaun si poem aati hai uh, the church and then it also contains several other poems okay so aapko bas yehi temple ke bare mein yaad rakhna hai nothing else you have to remember let's move ahead now ओके नाउ व्हाट इज एलेग्रो कंपेनियन पीस कॉल्ड ठीक है ये भी मैंने आपको लेक्चर में बताया था कि दिस दिस वर्क इज बाय मिल्टन ठीक है ये आपके क्वेश्चन में नेट में आपको दो तीन बार आ चुका है कि व्हाट आर द कंपेनियन पोएम्स ऑफ मिल्टन सो ये अलग-अलग घुमा के आपको पूछते हैं तो एक चीज से आपको कंपेनियन पोएम पता है कि एलेग्रो है व्हाट इज द अदर कंपेनियन पोएम ऑफ मिल्टन ऑफ एलेग्रो Okay, jaldi bataye. I'm giving you time. Is it Lamia, Hyperion, Il Pensoroso, or Thyrsis? Yes, tell me which is the companion poem of Allegro. Okay, so the correct answer to this question is Il Pensoroso. So, aapko is Allegro and Il Pensoroso both are the Italian word. Hai. Dono companion poems hai Milton ki. Allegro means happy man. 
in English and Il Penseroso means melancholy man. ठीक है एक का मतलब है happy man and एक का मतलब है melancholy man. And in this allegro, Milton actually uh, is a very in a very good and a gay mood, and he is actually contemplating on the poetic fervor. Okay, and it actually shows the uh, the the time of rustic. It actually showcases the rustic life and the pleasures of rustic life. And the morning scene has been depicted in this allegro. Whereas in Il Penseroso, which is also by Melancholy Man, uh, man um, uh, here. Milton actually invokes the goddess of melancholy, okay? Because he doesn't want to, uh, you know, he doesn't want to live more, and it actually shows the evening time. Okay, so आप जो life के जो आपके दो parts होते हैं, happy part and sad part, both are these part has been depicted in this companion poem Allegro and Il Penseroso. ठीक है? Lamia and Hyperion is a work by Keats, and this is the work by Arnold. ठीक है, so ये आपको याद होना चाहिए, the works and the author, fine, yes, got very good, see it is Il Penseroso, so let's move ahead, now you can see ना how theory is important for, so मैं जो आपको theory पढ़ाती हूँ, वही इस session में I you are given to apply, ठीक है, so please pay attention the theory classes, because वो classes आपके लिए enough होंगी for the practicing or for solving previous years questions, okay. Next is Jeremy Collier's A Short View of the Immorality and Profaneness of the English Stage Attacked Among Others. Okay? So Jeremy Collier was a person who was not happy with the restoration stage because uh, sexual licentious, vulgarity, all these were the actually the prominent feature of the restoration stage. As you see that Charles II was also the prominent follower of the theoretical writing. Okay? So uh, this was actually shown on the stage. Fine. And for as an attack, Jeremy Collier has written this pamphlet and he has attacked various writers in his particular work. And who were the writers he um, uh, has, uh, you know, attacked? Okay. Okay, so the correct answer to this William Congreve, it is not A, it is not John Bunyan, it is John Dryden whom he attracted. So as I told you, Jeremy Collier was not happy with the restoration stage. Okay, this word sexual licentious, what vulgarity has been portrayed or the uh, uh, restoration stage, he actually was very unhappy to that. And as an uh, attack, that he has actually demeaning the or uh, dementing the uh, morality of the people, he has written a pamphlet, a short view of the immorality and profaneness of the English stage. Okay and he attacked various writers whom he has attacked one of them is William Congreve what are the other writers he has attacked Dryden okay Dryden, Congreve, Vaishali okay uh, and William Davenant he was also attacked okay so Dryden, Vaishali, Davenant, Congreve these were the writers who were attacked by um, uh, Jeremy Collier in his uh, writing the a short view of the immorality and profaneness of the English stage. Okay. Fine. Let's move ahead now. Okay. The English satirist who used the sharp edge of praise to attack his victim was. Okay. So who is that English satirist who has attacked his victim? Please let me know in the chat box. Who is that English satirist who used the sharp edge of praise to attack his victims? Is it Ben Johnson, John Dunn, John Dryden or Samuel Butler? We have already talked about Ben Johnson previous lecture. John uh, Dunn के बारे में भी बात कर चुके हैं, Dryden के बारे में बात कर चुके हैं, Samuel Butler के बारे में भी बात कर चुके हैं। So you should know that which is that satirist. Yes, please answer fast in the chat box. Okay, so the correct answer to this question is Ben Johnson. 
so ben johnson is a satirist who used the sharp edge of praise uh, to attack his victims okay so that's why he used to be the famous uh, proponent of comedy of humors okay so he used to attack different humors of individuals okay and also he is known as what i have told you in my lecture he is known as the father of cavaliers as well okay so john Dun john ben johnson kis age ka tha he was an age of jacobian he started writing jacobian age john dun has written in metaphysical age aapko age bhi pata hona chahiye sari writers ki john dryden kis age mein tha restoration and he was a prominent historiographer of that particular age okay and he was very much influenced by the french tradition and his comedies of john dryden were influ influenced by the spanish tradition of comedies okay and samuel butler is again a restoration writer who has written different works and the famous work is hudibras the way of all flesh airborne and airborne revisited so these are all the works of samuel butler fine yes very good it is a let's move ahead okay who among the following is not a restoration playwright so humne restoration playwright ke bare mein baat kari hai theek hai kaun sa isme se restoration playwright nahi hai maine aapko ages bhi tabhi batati rehti hu kyunki dekhe age se question aa gaya hai age ke agar aapko writers pata honge to aap easily isse eliminate karke answer nikal sakte ho okay so please tell me in the chat box okay which is that writer i'm waiting in the chat box yes very good it is c okay as i told you ben johnson was from the jacobian age okay and he's a famous prominent proponent of comedy of humors theek hai but restoration age mein kaun si comedy follow karti thi ye jo sare writers hain william congre william wyche george atherage they used to follow comedy of manners ठीक है और ये जो बेन जॉनसन था ही वाज फ्रॉम कॉमेडी ऑफ ह्यूमर्स ठीक है सो दैट्स व्हाई यू कैन सी दैट द एज हैज अ प्रोमिनेंस सो जकोबियन एज कॉमेडी ऑफ ह्यूमर थी तो बेन जॉनसन वाज फ्रॉम द जकोबियन एज एंड विलियम कॉंगरी विलियम वाइशनली जॉन एथरेज वाज फ्रॉम द कॉमेडी ऑफ मैनर्स ठीक है सो मैंने आपको भी अपनी लेक्चर में बताया था विलियम कॉंगरी का द वे ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इज अ वेरी फेमस प्ले एंड यू शुड बी रीडिंग दैट प्ले द कैरेक्टर मीरा बेल एंड मिला मांड आर द मोस्ट सेलिब्रेटेड कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ दिस वर्क विलियम वाइशली द कंट्री वाइफ ओके द प्लेन डी द लव लाइज लव इन अ वुड सो सेंट जेम्स पार्क ऑल दिस वर्क आर फेमस फॉर वाइशली send uh, george ethere she would she be could the man of flutter sir popling flutter the man of more the sir popling flutter okay all these are works of john ethere so aapko works pata hona chahiye unke characteristics pata hona chahiye and all these are comedies and maine aapko us lecture mein ye bhi bataya tha ki john ethere is has been inspired is inspired from the writing style of william congreve fine any problem post in the chat box let's move ahead द रेस्टोरेशन कॉमेडी द डबल डीलर वो रिटर्न बाय सो ये जो आपकी जो क्लास है ये वाली पी वाई क्यू इट इज ऑल्सो द रिविजन ऑफ द प्रीवियस क्लास दैट्स वाई मैं आपको साथ साथ कंसेप्ट ही बताती जा रही हूँ बिकॉज इन ऑर्डर टू एक्चुअली सीमेंट दैट थिंग और इम्फोसाइज ऑन द फैक्ट वट आई हैव टोल्ड यू इन द प्रीवियस क्लास ओके सो द रेस्टोरेशन कॉमेडी द डबल डीलर वॉज रिटर्न बाय जॉन ड्राइडन विलियम वाइशली विलियम कॉन्ग्रीव और जॉन एथरेज अभी अभी मैंने इसका आपका आंसर बता चुकी हूँ वट इज द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन okay the restoration comedy the double dealer was written by so this is a work by which writer which playwright you can say john dryden william wycherley william congrey william ethere so these are all the restoration playwrights no it is not d it is a uh, william congrey theek hai so william congrey ne likha hai the double dealer okay and uh, double dealer uh, jo work hai so i told you that william congreve has written four comedies plus one tragedy theek hai so this is a comedy double dealer is a comedy and one tragedy what is that one tragedy which i have told you that william congreve has written okay please tell me in the chat box which is that one tragedy that william congreve has written and ye question aapse net mein pooch chuke hain so that's why i'm asking you Which tragedy? One tragedy William Congreve has written. Can you just let me in the chat box? 
something something bright okay yes i have given the clue as well it is the morning bright Okay, this is the only tragedy which Congreve has written, and the way of the world is the most famous comedy written by William Congreve. Okay, and it is the most celebrated writer of the Restoration age. ये भी मैंने आपको बताया कि सबसे ज़्यादा famous कौन था? It was William Congreve. Okay, and others William Wycherley, John Etheridge, John Dryden are all the writers of the Restoration age. John Dryden ने भी बहुत सारे works लिखे हैं जिसकी मैंने आपको description दी थी in my प्रीवियस लेक्चर ठीक है तो वो आप एक बार देख लेना बिकॉज ऑल द वर्क्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम द एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू फाइन नेक्स्ट सैम्यूल बटलर एयर वॉन इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ठीक है तो जो सैम्यूल बटलर का वर्क है एयर वॉन इट इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ विच काइंड ऑफ लिटरेचर फेमिनिस्ट लिटरेचर यूटोपियन लिटरेचर वॉर लिटरेचर ऑफ फेमाइन लिटरेचर प्लीज लेट मी नो इन द चैट बॉक्स What kind of literature is of air one? Yes, feminist or you can say that utopian war literature or feminine literature. Yes, okay. So the correct answer to this question is utopian literature. Like Thomas More's Utopia, this also uh, depicts a world which is actually a very happy world. Okay, everything is good, everything is fine, no worries are there. So this kind of a uh, world has been portrayed in Air One as well. And what is the sequel of Air One? I have told you Samuel Butler has written not only Air One, he has written the sequel of Air One as well, and that is Air One. revisited okay air one revisited it is the first part and this is the second part so this is a sequel to air one and both of these work are is written by um, you know by samuel butler and uh, this it shows the utopian uh, utopian world like thomas more utopia okay so that's why it is a work of utopian literature okay let's move ahead now नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द रिस्टोरेशन कॉमेडी हैज बीन क्रिटिसाइज मेनली फॉर एड्स ठीक है मैंने आपको बताया कि द रिस्टोरेशन स्टेज को वॉज एक्चुअली अटैक्ड बाय इन द शॉर्ट वे ऑफ कॉली सिबर हैज अटैक बाय द शॉर्ट वे ऑफ इमोर्टी एंड प्रोफेन ऑफ इंग्लिश स्टेज सो आपको बताना है कि लाइक फॉर वॉट इट हैज बीन क्रिटिसाइज Okay, please tell me in the chat box for which uh, uh, characteristic it has been criticized. Is it for excessive wit and humor, a bitter satire and cynicism, uh, indecency and perceivedness, and superficial reflection of society? ये मैं आपको ages भी बताऊंगी किस age में कौन सा feature है हर different different ages का ये feature है. ठीक है तो प्लीज टेल मी द चैट बॉक्स फॉर व्हाट इट हैज बीन क्रिटिसाइज्ड ओके सो द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज इन डिसेंसी एंड परमिसिवनेस ठीक है तो मैंने बताया था कि द डिस्टोरेशन स्टेज हैज बीन क्रिटिसाइज्ड फॉर वलगैरिटी ओके फॉर सेक्सुअल लाइसेंशियस for a uh, different portrayal of women okay so it was very a uh, vulgar stage okay and uh, charles ii was a proponent um, you know lover of art and this was actually entertained by charles ii theek hai and also because the theaters were shut down in the commonwealth period or you can say puritan period so when the stage licensing act came so people were very much you know excited for the uh, theater and they start portraying anything to earn money and that's why it became vulgar and indecency and permissiveness was very much prominent in this kind of थिएटर्स ठीक है देन एक्सेसिव विट एंड ह्यूमर आप बोल सकते हो हमने जो अभी जो एजेस पढ़ी है ये हमने देखा है कि मेटाफिजिकल एज में विट बहुत ज्यादा थी एंड ह्यूमर हमें जकोबियन एज में भी मिलता था देखने को ठीक है बिटर सटायर एंड सिनेटिज्म आपको ये अभी आप जो ऑगस्टिन एज पढ़ोगे 
तो उसमें आपको लगेंगे एवरीबडी इज राइटिंग सटाइल ठीक है सब किसी ना किसी को रेडिक्यूल कर रहे होते हैं तो वहाँ पे आपको एक्सेसिव सटायर एंड बिटर सिनेसिज्म मिलेगा सुपरफिशियल रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ सोसाइटी विक्टोरियन सोसाइटी में बहुत ज्यादा यू नो सोसाइटी का रिफ्लेक्शन है बिकॉज दैट टाइम इंग्लैंड वॉज अंडर द रूल ऑफ क्वीन विक्टोरिया एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ सोसाइटीज और एलिट सोसाइटीज एलिगेंट सोसाइटीज बीन पोर्ट्रेट इन लॉर्ड्स ऑफ वर्क ऑफ विक्टोरियन एज ठीक है एंड दिस वॉज द फीचर ऑफ रेस्टोरेशन कॉमेडी फाइन ओके लेट्स मूव अहेड नाउ ओके नेक्स्ट इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग प्लेस बाय विलियम वाइशली इज इन पार्ट एंड अडेप्टेशन ऑफ मोलायर दी मिसेंथ्रो दिस पॉइंट आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू इन माय लेक्चर इफ यू हैज वॉच माय लेक्चर वेरी केयरफुल योर अटेंटिवली यू मस्ट बी नोइंग द आंसर टू इट ओके इज इट द प्लेन डीलर द कंट्री वाइफ लव इन अ वुड और द जेंटमेल डांसिंग मास्टर प्लीज टेल मी इन द चैट बॉक्स which is the correct uh, which is the part of adaptation of mola and the misanthro yes quickly so all these works are by william byshirley and uh, i have talked about plain dealer the country by love in a boat in my lecture as well so you must be knowing the correct answer to this question okay so the right answer is the plain dealer okay so the plain dealer i have told you in my lecture that it is an adaptation you of the molay lee misanthro maine ye point aapko likhwaya bhi tha us samay so this is a very important point because it's a previous year so you should know that the plain dealer has been adopted by that okay talking about the country wife i told you country wife is a, has been the most obscene work of william wycherley and it was actually criticized a lot of time because of his obscenity and why it was obscene because here a man the main character named horner is spreading the rumor that he is a eunuch okay and that's why some obscene scenes were there some you know uh, double meaning jokes are there so that's why this work has been criticized love in a wood or sam james park this is a uh, you know um, subtitle of this and this is the first comedy which is written by wycherley and the Gen gentleman dancing master is also a comedy by uh, wycherley and you just have to remember the title fine let's move ahead now next black techno is an attack on dryden's literary rival theek hai jo maine bataya tha ki uh, okay i will not tell you the name now first answer it okay so i maine aapko bataya tha ki mac flecno is an attack on dryden's rival so ek rival tha jo dryden ke time pe rehta tha and who was his rival you have to tell me in the chat box that is the answer to this particular question is it richard flecno thomas shadwell john wilmont or matthew prior quickly in the chat box Yes. So the correct answer to this question is Thomas Shadwell. मैंने आपको बताया था कि then when Dryden was writing, he he and Shadwell has written lot of pieces for counter attacks on each other. ठीक है? So पहले जो उसने लिखा था Dryden ने. Okay, I'll tell you again. So Dryden has written the middle. Okay, he has written the middle. Okay, and it was an attack on what? Attack on Shadwell. it is attack on thomas shadwell and this actually provoked counter attacks so again this thomas shadwell has written the work this is by dryden okay this is by dryden and thomas shadwell has written the work the middle of john bys okay he has written the work the middle of john bys by uh, which is again by shadwell which is an attack on Dryden. मैं आपको फ्लो चार्ट के बेस में समझा रही हूँ बिकॉज आपको इसके टाइम पीरियड भी याद होगा तो पहले लिखा मेडल बाय ड्राइडन विच इज एन अटैक ऑन शेडवेल देन शेडवेल हैज रिटन द मेडल ऑफ जॉन बाइज इन विच ही हैज अटैक ड्राइडन देन ड्राइडन ऑल्सो बिकेम इन्फ्यूएटेड एंड ही हैज रिटन द वर्क मैक फ्लेक्नो मैक फ्लेक्नो बाय ड्राइडन ओके एंड हेयर ही हैज अटैक्ट 
Shadwell. And what is the meaning of Mac Flecno? Mac Flecno is also known as son of Flecno. Okay, this is also known as son of Flecno. And who was the son of Flecno? And this Flecno is referred to Richard Flecno. ठीक है तो आपको ये मैक फ्लेक्नो से कंफ्यूज नहीं होना है कि ये रिचर्ड फ्लेक्नो होगा नहीं इट इज नॉट रिचर्ड फ्लेक्नो बिकॉज मैक फ्लेक्नो मीन सन ऑफ फ्लेक्नो नॉट रिचर्ड फ्लेक्नो एंड हेयर ही हैज सेड दैट व्हेन रिचर्ड फ्लेक्नो बिकेम बोर्ड ऑफ हिज एम्पायर ही वांट्स द नेक्स्ट एम्पायर टू कम टू हिज एम्पायर एंड ही वॉन्टेड टू सर्च फॉर द who will be the empire of stupidity and he looked at all his son and he found that thomas shadwell is a mad uh, best fit so that's why he did the criticism of shadwell theek hai so this was the question of net as well yes good afternoon uh, yes uh, mp tet uh, all these writers has been asked as well uh, so if i just talk about john milton i have talked about john milton in my lecture so that is also helpful for dissecting because the course is similar sometimes the writers are dropped off so basically i am dealing with the ugc net course which is a holistic of all the course uske us wo pad liya aapne to aap baki sab exams aapke liye easy ho jate hain because uske jo questions hote hain wo less level ke bhi hote hain writers bhi kam puch jate hain okay so just follow the lecture which writers are important for these your exam just look at the syllabus and then that writer you can just focus on fine okay next so the next question is andrew marvel and horatian ode upon cromwell's written from ireland was written in theek hai maine aapko bataya tha ki andrew marvel ne ye ode likha hai and this is a very famous ode and iska question hi pucha ja chuka hai match the columns mein ki ye ode kisne likha hai so in either of the way this question has been asked but here the question is asking the year now if you see the ugc net paper ki aapko years bhi puche ja chuke hain ya fir aapko ascending and descending order mein arrange karne ko works mil jate hain okay so it's better to remember the year so what is the year of this publication of this particular work please tell me in the chat box what is the year of the publication of this particular work yes good afternoon okay so the correct answer is 1650 so aapko sirf isme koi explanation nahi honi hai ki just aapko remember karna hai ki ye jo work hai ye marvel ne likha hai 1650 mein likha hai is work ki depth mein aapko nahi jana hai because is depth mein aapke question nahi puche jate hain only the title is important so just remember that andrew marvel has written the horatian ode upon cromwell's uh, written from ireland okay so this is the only uh, enough information for you fine next question which among the following is a place through which john bunyan's christian does not pass theek hai flor despond mount helicon the valley of humil uh, humiliation or vanity fair please let me know in the chat box which is that particular right option yes it is which option please no no let me know in the chat box so just pay attention on not kis mein se wo nahi jata you have to tell me that ओके सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज माउंट हेलिकन ठीक है माउंट हेलिकन में द क्राइस्ट वॉज रिसाइडिंग ओके जहां पे उसको ड्रीम आया था उस एंजल का एंड ही द एंजल से दैट ही शुड विजिट जीजस क्राइस्ट हु स्टेज इन माउंट हेलिकन ठीक है सो वो चीज ये यहाँ पे वो उससे पास नहीं होता है ओके सो ही पासिस फ्रॉम स्लॉट डिस्पॉन्ट द वैल्यू ऑफ ह्यूमिलिएशन ऑफ वैनिटी फेयर सो दीज वर द्लेसेज फ्रॉम हेयर ही हैज पास ठीक है एंड जस्ट ऑल्सो रिमेंबर द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर दिस इज वैनिटी फेयर ओके जो विलियम थैकरे की थैकरे की वैनिटी फेयर है जो उसका वर्क है वैनिटी फेयर इज अ 
is act has been influenced from the bunyan's pilgrim progress and ye question aapka net ka bhi hai मैं आपको एक क्वेश्चन है दूसरा क्वेश्चन भी आपको जम कर आ रही हूँ बिकॉज आपको सारे कॉन्सेप्ट्स याद होने चाहिए मैंने आपको बताया था कि ऑप्शंस आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट तो जो ऑप्शंस पूछे जाते हैं उसी से आपसे क्वेश्चंस मे बी रिपीट होते हैं ठीक है एज इट इज तो नहीं रिपीट होंगे बट ऑप्शन जरूर रिपीट हो सकते हैं जो विलियम थैकरे का वर्क है दैट हैज बीन इन्फ्लुएंस फ्रॉम बनियन पिलग्रेम प्रोग्रेस यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट फाइन लेट्स मूव अहेड नाउ ओके द प्यूरिटन शट डाउन ऑल थिएटर्स इन इंग्लैंड एन ये भी मैंने आपको अपने लेक्चर में बताया था कि कब प्यूरिटन्स ने सा, सारे थिएटर्स को शट डाउन कर दिया था ठीक है प्लीज आंसर इन द चैट बॉक्स इन विच ईयर प्यूरिटन शट डाउन थिएटर तो थिएटर एज यू नो दैट सिविल वॉर हैज बीन वेस्ट इन ड्यूरिंग द प्यूरिटन पीरियड एंड थिएटर्स वॉज शट डाउन एंड वेन इट वॉज शट डाउन यू हैव टू टेल मी इन द चैट बॉक्स Okay, so Puritan shut down all theaters in England in okay. So the correct answer to this question is sixteen forty two. ठीक है sixteen sixty में क्या हुआ था sixteen sixty में restoration age got restored. Restoration age came and what restoration age is a restoration of what restoration of monarchy. It is a restoration of monarchy. Question of net. I have told in my lecture as well. He पूछा गया था कि restoration is restoration of what? Is the restoration of monarchy. 1659 में Cromwell died. Okay. In 1659 Cromwell died. And in 1642, okay. In 1642, uh, theatres were shut down. So you should remember the date. So I have told you told you the important date. of these uh, important year relevance so aapko ye sab yaad hona chahiye in which year what happened fine yes very good it is a fine john dryden's absalom and achitophel is a religious tract political allegory comic verse epic comedy ye bhi maine aapko bataya tha so you should be knowing the answer to this question i want correct answers only so please let me know in the chat box please make the class interactive okay so what is the correct answer to this question yes very good it is b so political allegory as i told you that uh, when exclusion bill was passed in the parliament to exclude james second to be the next monarch okay and what happened to escape the uh, situation uh, this uh, charles second dissolved the parliament and became a dictator so people were very much you know unhappy they were agitated and to silence the atmosphere to pacify the atmosphere dryden requested sorry The Charles II requested Dryden to write something to calm out the atmosphere, to calm the public. And then, with the request of uh, James, uh, Charles II, Dryden has written Ab Absalom and Achitophel. Okay, and uh, this is a very political allegory because it shows the political situation of that particular time. Fine. Let's move ahead. Okay, next question. Name the poet who chooses his successor and the successor poet whom Dryden satirizes in his famous work. Okay, one more thing I have to uh, tell you: the second part of Absalom and Achitophel is written with the aid of Nahum Tate. Okay, Nahum Tate is a very propitious writer of the particular Restoration Age, and with the help of uh, Nahum Tate, Dryden has written the second part of Absalom and Achitophel. Fine. So, the, please remember this point. Okay, name the poet who chooses his successor and the successor poet whom Dryden satirizes in his famous poem. ठीक है? So आपको बताना है कि Dryden ने किसको satirize करा है in his work. Again, it's a repeated question. I've already told you hundred times कि किस किस का you know rift हुआ करता था, conflict हुआ करता था during Restoration age with Dryden. So you must be knowing the answer to it. It's very easy. Yes. कौन से नेम्स आपको फमिलियर लग रहे हैं इसमें वही फमिलियर नेम्स उसके आंसर हैं सो प्लीज आंसर इन द चैट बॉक्स
Uh, Neha, I'm not able to understand what you have written. Please write it um, again. Yes, very good. It is C. So, as I told you, Richard Flecknoe was the father of Thomas Shadwell and Dryden has written Meg Flecknoe, which also means son of Flecknoe and it is uh, filled with the ridicule of Thomas Shadwell. So, it was a, uh, chosen his successor. So, uh, Richard Flecknoe was the successor of Dryden and his successor poet. Okay. So, these were the two people whom Dryden has satirized in his particular work. Fine. Let's move ahead. Okay, next question says that Jeremy Collier's short view of the immorality and profaneness of the English sage, okay, uh, is basically attacked on, is an attack on what? The practice of mixing tragic and comic themes in Shakespeare play, the bawdiness of low characters in Shakespeare play, the coarseness and ugliness of restoration theatre, or the irreligious themes and irrelevant attitude in the plays of the 17th century. Please answer in the chat box. What's the correct answer to this? I told you that uh, restoration has stage has been criticized basically for what? Yes. So the correct answer to this question is the coarseness and ugliness of restoration stage. As I told you that theatres were banned during Puritan age and restoration age because of the licensing act, uh, people started uh, you know, staging plays on st uh, the restoration stage. Okay, And this stage was full of vulgarity, what is other uh, sexual licentious that women were demeaned in this particular stages. So that's why a lot of coarseness and ugliness was there in the stage which was actually attacked which was not liked by Jeremy Colin and he attacked this particular uh, phenomena or you can say the you know uh, this kind of concept in his pamphlet a short view of the immorality and profaneness of the English stage and whom he has attacked all the writers who were the proponent follower of this particular uh, comedy of manners Dryden, Etheridge, uh, Congreve by Shirley, all these were, or John Warnberg has been uh, criticized in this particular pamphlet. Okay, let's move ahead now. One of the most important theme of the speaker's debate in Dryden's an essay on dramatis posi is, okay, which is Dryden's critical work hai, in essay on dramatic posi, uh, is the important themes kya the? European and non-European perceptions of reality, English and non-English perception, the relative merits of French and English theatre, all the relative merits of French and English poetry. This literary criticism. Mein aata hai. This I have not talked about in my previous lecture, but I will be talking about in the lecture in which I will be discussing the literary criticism of various writers. So, usme mein Dryden ke mein ye work discuss Dryden. That's why I have not touched in my previous lecture but as a viewpoint you must be knowing that what is all about what is the correct answer to this question okay so the correct option is the relative merits and uh, friend of French and English theatre. So, as you know, that restoration age has been known for the theatre. So, with theatre, what is the biggest clue for your answer? European and non-European, you can restoration age so you can omit this. Okay? And uh, this English and non-English perception of reality, ye bhi hamari, restoration age baat nahi kare, so ye bhi omit ho sakta hai. Now, the thing, uh, the option, the confusion aapko aayega, wo in dono option mein aayega, because isme sirf theater or poetry ke baare mein, uh, you know, differentiation hai. Thikhe, to po aapko poetry pata hooga, metaphysical age mein poetry thi, Cavalier age mein, uh, Caroline age mein poetry thi, uh, Puritans mein theater banned hai, and which got restored in the restoration age. So, jitne bhi aapne jo restoration age writer par hai, they are basically playwrights, okay. In fact, John Dryden was a, a famous writer of comedies and histories, okay, historical plays and his comedies were inspired by Spanish comedies, thikhe? So, that's why theater is the word. So, isme French and English theater, as I told you, uh, French 
John Bradbury was immensely influenced by the French tradition and he had uh, portrayed the French tradition in his works also. So, uska ye jo English or French ka jo uska, uh, conflict tha, that conflict has been depicted in his work, an essay on dramatic poesy. Fine, let's move ahead. Okay, next question says that which of the following statements on John Dryden is incorrect. Okay, John Milton and John Dryden were contemporaries. Dryden was a royalist while Milton fiercely opposed monarchy. Dryden wrote a play on the Mughal Emperor Humayu. Dryden was appointed the poet laureate of England in 1668. Okay, so you have to tell me in the chat box which is the right answer. Fast, tell me in the chat box. Yes. What is the correct answer? You have to tell me the right combination. Okay, Gwar is saying C. What about others? Yes. So basically the correct answer is C only because John Milton and Dryden were contemporaries. Yes, because Milton was writing in the Puritan age and Dryden was writing in the restoration age. So they were contemporaries. Dryden was a royalist by Milton fiercely opposed monarchy. As I told you, restoration age marked the restoration of monarchy. So in Milton age, Puritan age was a democracy. Okay, wo monarchy nahi tha. So it opposed monarchy. So wo monarchy nahi tha. that's why it is an opposition of monarchy. And he was a royalist because he was... Um, you know, used to follow king a lot, okay? And he has celebrated Charles II restoration in, uh, in his work as well, as we are redux, okay? So he was a completely a royalist. Dryden wrote a play on the Mughal Emperor Humayun. Nahi, aisa kuch bhi nahi hua hai. Aurangzeb likha hai usne, lekin usne Humayun pe nahi likha hai. Okay? Dryden was appointed the poet laureate of England in 16... Yes, after the death of William Davenant. William and William Davenant died. He was appointed as the poet, poet laureate in 1668. So that's why C is incorrect and rest of the statements are correct. Fine? Let's move ahead. What is the fate of ignorance in Bunyan Pilgrim Progress? He drowns in the river of death. He enters the celestial city. He finds the truth. He discovers the way to hell. Okay. So as you saw that ignorance. So ignorance must be a negative character. So negative ke saath kya hoga? You should be knowing the answer now. Yes, in the chat box, can I expect an answer? What is the answer to this question? So, the correct answer to this question is, he discovers the way to hell. As I told you, ignorance must be a negative character because it's not a positive trait. So, it must be negative. So, negative ko kya hota hai? They are going to hell. So, river of death, celestial city, truth, ye sab answer nahi hai. And he discovers the way to hell. Fine? Let's move ahead. Okay, so this was about Pilgrim Progress. So as I told you, Pilgrim Progress was written in a gap of six years. And the full title of Pilgrim Progress is Pilgrim Progress from this world to that world, which is yet to come. Okay, and this is a question of net also the full title of Pilgrim Progress. And in the second part, who actually goes on a journey? It, uh, Christian's wife, Christiana, goes on a journey and mercy and great heart were his companions were her companions okay this was all about pilgrim progress and i hope you enjoyed the class because we have discussed most important previous years question in this particular class and in my next class which is on friday now uh, 13th of january i'll be coming with new ages that is augustan age and romantic age and i'll again be discussing the important writers and the works associated with these particular writer okay so please stay tuned for friday class as well and i have told you that my class occur on monday friday uh, wednesday at 11 a.m that is a theory class and 1 p.m that is a previous year's question
class okay so till then revise your points and stay tuned to the classes take care of yourself and bye bye